Today, I'm showing you how to update your iDrive system on your BMW so that it works a little bit better with your cell phone, tablets, and other connected devices. It's pretty easy, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is find your VIN number, and you can find that in two places really, really easily. First place to look is gonna be at the bottom of the windshield on the driver's side. You'll notice there is my VIN plate. And then there's the other spot, which would be if you open up the driver's side door, there's gonna be a sticker in the door sill with your VIN on it as well. Go ahead, get in your car and turn on the ignition so that your iDrive system actually boots up. All right, so we are gonna to go to the main menu on your iDrive system, go down to settings, and then at the bottom of that menu or close to it, you should have software update. Then what I want you to do is show current version. That way you can see what version of the software you are currently running on the car, just to make sure you're not doing this for no reason. The next thing you need on the list is gonna be a thumb drive like this one I've had since college, Go Lobos, and you're also gonna need a computer or a laptop I use Apple products, so I'll be doing it on an iMac here, uh, but it's the same principles and steps on a Windows machine. Go ahead and take that USB drive and plug it into your computer. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is use your search spotlight and type in disk utility and pull up the uh, disk utility tool. Then find your drive, That would, this for me it's this untitled drive here, and I am going to format it just to make sure to ms-dos-fat. Now, what this is gonna do is it's going to erase the disk and reformat it. It is now done, and you're gonna notice here it is actually uh, FAT32. That is, a that is the format that we need in order to update our iDrive system. Now that we formatted our USB drive, go ahead and open up a browser window. I'm gonna use Safari here and type in bmw.com forward slash update and it should bring you to this page here. Now, if you come down a little bit, you will notice that it has an, a place for you to enter your VIN number. Go ahead and do that now. I actually typed it onto a note on my phone, so it's now here on my desktop. If I pull up notes, and I'm gonna just copy it, and I'm going to paste it here, and search for an update. Now, it does show, in fact, that there is a newer update. You can also take a look at the software update information, the software update user agreement, if you'd like. Uh, but ultimately, you're going to need to just download the update packet. You'll see here it's downloading into my downloads folder. We'll give it a couple minutes here. All right, now that we've downloaded the update packet, go ahead and minimize your browser. You're not going to need it for now. And uh, open up your downloads folder. You will find the uh, packet here. And go ahead and open up your thumb drive. And go ahead and just drag and drop that thing right onto your thumb drive. Now that the update file is on the thumb drive, go ahead and pull it out and let's go back out to the car. All right, go ahead and find the uh, USB port on your car. In my car, it happens to be in the center console, but I know that they can also be found in a number of other places like the glove box. And just go ahead and plug in that drive that you put the uh, download packet on. Go back to your iDrive system and go to the software update section that I told you about earlier. And what you want to do is this time you want to go to software update. Now, it should recognize that you have the update file on that USB drive, and then what you wanna do is just hit Install Software. And go ahead and let it do its thing. Now, what you wanna do is just turn off the ignition on the car and let the car really just turn off completely. So it actually took about a minute for my car to completely shut down, uh, which is a little bit faster than I had expected. But I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car now. And what we wanna do is we wanna go down to software update. And let's show the current version. And there we go. It should show that we now have all the new files installed, including an add-on here. So this should make your car run and work a lot better with the Connected Drive app on your phone um, and all the other Bluetooth functionalities and things like that. This video should be perfect for anybody that's had a BMW for a while and has never really asked the dealer to update their iDrive system, which they can do for you. 
Uh, or somebody like myself who bought a used BMW and just wanted to make sure that I was running the latest firmware for iDrive. Let me know what you think, folks. I hope it was easy to follow. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.